All right, let's say you're, you've been given some data here and we have four different machine operators and they're measuring um, the size, the opening of these valves. And so we have these four different uh, machine operators. So we have these different measurements of, of a total of 24 valves. And we want to know, is there a significant difference between the means? And so to set this up, this would be a, an, an ANOVA because there's more than two means. And we are basically saying in our null hypothesis, there are no differences, that the means are all equal. Where all, our alternative says that at least one of the means is different from the others. So to be able to do an ANOVA in Excel is pretty easy if you have the data and data analysis. If you don't, you need to install the data analysis. And I have another video that shows how to do that. So I'll do data analysis and then notice an ANOVA with a single factor. Because in this case, our single factor, our independent variable is our machine operator. That's our only factor. So I say, okay. It asks me, where is my actual data? So I can see that this is highlighted to get all of the data values. These are grouped by columns, okay, in case you have something typed in rows. Um, I actually want to test this at an alpha of 0 0.05. And where do I want to output the data? Right there is probably good enough. And I click OK. And I see I get everything. So I get the different averages, the different variances, but down here is the part that's important because I can see the sum of the squares between groups. So in other words, the variation between each um, operator and then the sum of the squares of the error, okay, within groups. And from here then I could do my test based on the p-value, okay, so the p-value is certainly way less than my alpha value, or if I want to either look up in a table or find my um, f-critical value, okay, so you can see the f-critical value right here, or you can also do that manually with the equal f.inv.rt, all of these are right tail, my probability, my alpha was 0 0.05. You can see the degrees of freedom right here, 3 and 20, and that gives you the same answer. So I can either compare my comparisons here. I can either compare my p-value with the alpha, so my alpha was 0 0.05, or I can compare my f with the critical value, and as you can certainly see, this is definitely way in the critical region. So my null hypothesis is rejected. Not all means are equal. So there is definitely a significant difference in the mean valve opening by the machine operator.